Good evening, everyone. I wanted to take a moment tonight to share with you all a very interesting geometry, late night, we're going to call it a late night geometry problem. And I say late night, it's about 8.25 p.m. And I had a dinner earlier, a very good dinner. I had meat pie earlier. I really, I'm, I'm a big fan of pies for some reason. I like a good old fashioned pie. Uh, especially if the if the uh, it's, if it's made out of lard, I like lard pies. You know the, the 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 actual the pie crust, and I had meat pie. I was following a um, I had requested a, a medieval. Uh, it's a medieval English recipe. It's really really good. I I quite recommend it to you. It uh, it has uh, it's a mix. The the filling is a mix of not just meats, uh, but also not just red meat, but also uh, chicken as well. And you, you put a lot of butter on it and you put the condiments, no garlic, by the way, of course not. But uh, it has there, it has pepper. It has, uh, you could put onion in it as well. And a few other condiments, really, really, really good. And it, and it turned out, I was surprised because it turned out to be, I'm, I, I like to experiment once in a while in the kitchen. And uh, although I don't, you know, I'm not a, I, I wouldn't consider myself to be a cook, but I do like to, uh, to try certain things, especially because I do everything from scratch and it turned out quite well. So I was, I was very happy about that. Really good pie crust, buttery flavor, flaky. Uh, it was a, um, uh, because of the lard filling, but anyway, I wanted to share with you a, a, a geometry problem because we haven't really done geometry on this channel. I figured I, I'd share it with you this week, by the way, some, I have some announcements for you announcements before we turn in for the night and i hope you are you gentlemen i hope you're all keeping good hours keeping good bedtime there's no reason for you to be out late so late but the the hours here the uh, this week we can expect to have as i mentioned yesterday we can have we're going to do a set theory we're going to talk about sets continuing our series on proofs we also have remainder theorem and factor theorem of polynomials. You know, this past Saturday, I tested some students and it, it was it was a disaster. It was a disaster. They did not know what they were doing. Thankfully, they understood the lesson and now that they're good to go. But uh, I'm going to share with you all factor theorem and remainder theorem because you need to know that for polynomials. Some of you don't know this or you or you might have heard of it, but you don't know how to manipulate it properly. And on this channel, we're all about doing things the proper way the right way. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention to you all is at this point, I've lost count of the wonderful blessings on this channel because we now have, last time I checked, we have around 14,530 subscribers. Last time I counted and it keeps going up and up and up. I don't know, you know, uh, if I told you that I believed it was a sign from God, I'd be lying because I have not I don't know what it is at this point, but if the messages are resonating, that is, I find that to be a very good thing. And I hope that this channel can be, continue to be, you, you, what you see is what you get. You see very few channels and I can't think of any channel really, because I don't go around investigating to be honest. So I don't know, but I can't think of any channel off the top of my head that will give you the kind of information that you will get here. So thank you all if you have been subscribing to the channel. I hope that I, I don't miss the mark. I know sometimes some of you, you know, you've told me you don't agree with certain things that I say, and that's okay. I'm still your friend. You see, I have always said to you, you do not have to agree with all the points that I make in the video. What, the, what, what an absurd world that would be. Wouldn't it be a boring world if we all agreed on, on everything, right? Now, as a mathematician, of course, I like to agree with on the math principles, but on the other questions, you know, I like a good debate. And I find a lot of people these days, they shy away from debate. I do not shy away from my principles. I have my principles. You might have yours. But I think you, if you're an honest person, I, I would think that you would appreciate someone who is being honest with you. And as I said, I do not have, I do not have any authority over, what you, over your actions in your daily life. But I think if I could serve as an example, and if I could serve as some kind of inspiration, then I, I already have half the job done. So thank you all who have subscribed to this channel. I will continue posting videos about not just mathematics, but also things related to uh, morals 
and the decline of our Western civilizations, because I think that it is a great tragedy what we are seeing. We're seeing it all across the board. It's been happening for many years. But anyway, I don't want to take up too much time because I don't like to spend too much time online. Uh, it really is not my style. And uh, I have a lot of things going on. I have prayers uh, and I have other things. So, uh, you know, and it's already 8.30 actually p.m. So let me share the problem with you. And I'm going to let you decide what the answer is. And uh, when I do my other video on the logic, I will, of course, share the answer in the beginning of the video and see if you got it right. All right. And here is the problem that we have. Let me see if I can make this bigger because it looks a little small to me. There we go. So I hope you can see the diagram on your screen. It says in the figure above, DE, I don't know why, I'm sorry, it came out the way I didn't want because I've enlarged it. It should be like this, there we go. So line segment DE is parallel to AC. The value of DE is equal to three, and the U, by the way, represents units because you know in geometry, probably will give you centimeters, and I'll just say units. The value of BE is three units. The value of, is also three units. The value of BS is five units. And that should be a lowercase, I guess. But So the question is, find AC if Q, R, S, and T are points of tangency points of tangency. And I gave you five multiple choice options here. And so uh, I'm going to leave that as a late night problem. And for those of you who like late night, I know some of you are studying into the, well into the night. That's okay. Uh, as long as you're doing things properly and you're not, you know, doing other things, but let's see what you come up with. Let me know in the, uh, in the comment section below what you come up with and why. And by the way, for those of you who are interested in my uh, the very challenging, I, I've sent it out last week to several students asked asked us about it. Uh, we have a level test here at City Tutoring. The level test tests your level on Algebra One, Algebra Two. I guarantee you, you will not you will be surprised at your results. And yes, we've checked it for typos because I know there are always people who, even if the typo is minuscule, they will always come up. There's always people in life who will come up with any excuse to discredit the work of others, right? They, they look at one typo, even though the typo itself does not discredit the question itself. But, oh, look, there's a typo in there. But we've actually checked every single thing this time. There is no way that you can accuse us of having any typos. So we've, we've checked everything for uh, accuracy. I've checked it myself personally, actually, because sometimes, you know, Having uh, an extra pair of eyes is never a bad thing. But if you're interested in the uh, placement test, it is free. It is free. We do not charge for the placements it's because we change it every year anyway. So you're not going to be gaining anything, you know, by disseminating it, in fact. Uh, but if you're interested in it, please email us. You can email us at info, info at citytutoringmath.com. Again, info at citytutoringmath.com. Dot com. You might think you know a lot of algebra, but when you start doing algebra, the, the, it's part A and part B. When you start doing the, the test, you might be surprised at your results and how many gaps you have. And if you have gaps, then we recommend you enroll in our courses. Uh, and so if you, if you want a rigorous foundation, of course, of course, if you want Khan Academy, that's okay too. There's a lot of students who they're satisfied with Khan Academy. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, this, is, this is no Khan Academy here. This is not Khan Academy, Khan Academy, I should say. But anyway, uh, have a blessed night, all of you. Let's see if you enjoy this question. And we'll be in touch this week because we got to talk about logic, the remainder theorem, the factor theorem. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you.